Let's add a journal entry into this uh, Delta Green campaign that I'm working on in Foundry. As you'll realize, this map is Livonia from Arma 3. It's a place that is easily accessible to all of us and we can get beautiful screenshots from in-game. So all you have to do is create a journal entry, select the image file. In this case, I'm uploading it straight from my computer to the server. Once it's in there, selecting it, applying it, and the image just shows up. And the way it shows up in Foundry is, uh, I find it very pleasing with the slight blurred background and everything. This is creepy enough place to run a Delta Green uh, mystery in. Now to put this onto the map, again the map is just an image up there, all I have to do is drag it onto the, the play area. Uh, and the ruins is somewhere uh, over here. So all I have to do is drag the the ruins icon over here and that should be it. Now to select uh, the minimum size which is 32 pixels I just change the value to 32 pixels and that's good. Anything less than that it'll say error. You can choose the entry icon to look like ruins and at this point one of the common things is like hey the text doesn't go away but if you move your mouse around it'll go away. So let's take a look at how each of these intel points or points of interest in the town look like. So when players come in, they see this map, they have this information. Uh, some of these can be hidden from the players, not all of them need to be shown. But you can double click on it and it will pop up. So you can take a closer look at the image or a different screenshot that you have taken of the area. And if you look in the uh, top right corner over there, you will see that you can have image, you can have text, you can also show it to the player, so it'll just pop up on their screen when you click the button. So if they're wondering what you're talking about, you can force them to see something. Now let's see if we can drag in an image uh, in the traditional format. To do this, we need a, a module called drag upload. All you have to do is find the image and drag it onto the screen. So this is the same ruins taken at night, uh, making it a little bit more creepier to look at. You can resize it, just like you resize any image. And to rotate it, this is where I was uh, stuck for a while trying to figure out what to do. All you have to do is click on it, hold control, and then use your scroll wheel to rotate stuff. So clicking on the image, holding control, and then scroll wheel will start flipping it. The only downside of doing it this way is that it has a certain amount of angles through which it can go. So I was trying to fit onto that template, but I realized, oh, I can't get the right angle. <laughs> and that's when, you know, you should, one can decide if they want this to be a permanent feature or a temporary feature. In this case, this will be something that may be revealed to the players when they enter the area or something. So for that purposes, this can be hidden. And the way you can do the hiding and unhiding of such image is by clicking on the image and there's an icon on the top right that you can just click to hide the image and then reveal the image. And this can be done uh, on top of other images that are pre-existing. For example, the background folder is just a, uh, a template, a placeholder which will have more information later on with texts and you know pre-made images on it. That way I can just add this photo onto that saying hey he found this new photo that you took or something like that.